Good morning, Aries. Welcome to your reading. Let's see what we have for you today. Sun, moon, rising. Let's see what's going on for the sign of Aries at this time. Ouch. Ooh. You're realising a lot of things about a certain person, Aries, and I feel for a lot of you, you've decided to end it. You realise it's over, and you also realise it's for the greater good. It's bringing an end to a very, very long struggle for you in your life with this person or with the situation. And, you know, the blame, it's nobody's fault. Sometimes this happens, you know, and it just is, you know, there may be a bit of the blame game going on, either with you to them or them to you. But no, it's this I feel is nobody's fault. You see, the death card is like a huge change and it's universal. It's a bit, it's, a lot of it is you can't control it. It's inevitable. It's a bit like the tower. All you can do is, you know, get a perspective on it. And you already know it's for your greater good. Uh, I'm getting now that you're in the process of letting this go. You know, you're coming back to your former self. You know, you've learned a lot from this experience. And it's kind of made you stronger areas. You know, there is a situation here where you've been waiting for somebody to make up their mind because they can't let go of the past or for whatever reason. And, you know, either way, you're going to make your move. You've gone through a huge lifestyle, lifelong change. You're getting ready for the next phase in your life. You know, you've been reserved for a long, long time. You've been reserved for a long, long time. You know, there's some trust issues here. And, you know, you, you've been kind of weighing everything up in your mind for a long, long time. You know, you realise for, for your greater good, you, you're going to have to give something up and you're willing to do that. And you're also, you know, becoming, you know, very mature in the sense that, you know, you make your decisions and you're being mature enough to, you know, follow those decisions through. You're becoming a very strong person, Aries. You know, as I say, we never stop learning in life. But going forward, messages... I feel there's something new coming in. And for some of you, there's a new career, a job move. This could also be a reason why you're ending this personal relationship because I'm picking up here travel. You know, you've been thinking about travel for a while. I'm getting that this person will try to contact you again. There could be children involved, you know, if there was a marriage. But no, you, you've kind of... Spiritually and emotionally decluttering. You know, life's been too complicated for you. And you like simple things, you know. You like, you know, life to them smoothly. You like an ease of connection. You like friendly connections. You don't want to feel in prison. You don't want to feel trapped. You don't want to feel pinned down. You know, and I feel that you are realising there's big justifications in your decisions. You know. And you're manifesting your own dreams and desires. You're following them through. I feel you're going to speak your mind to certain people. This individual especially. You're going to tell them how you really feel. And for one, one of you, there's a, I'm getting another scenario here. After a, a long period of non-committal because of other distractions and other opportunities, you weren't in a position to commit. Now there's a now there's a chance for you to commit. Mm. 
that's just for one or two of you. Mm. Yeah, the truth comes out very abruptly. You could be dealing with an Aquarius Libra Gemini, but you know, because there is some sword energy here, a lot of sword energy. So I'm getting things happening very, very quickly in succession. And you feel the best way to do it is to kind of act very reservedly, take the middle of the road, you know. And after a long period of time, this person has finally made up their mind what you want, but hmm, offer there's something new. There's a new journey for you, new beginnings. A decision here, your feelings are changing. There's messages coming in and out. And like I say, you've got three pages here. Page of Swords, Page of Wands, Page of Cups. That indicates definitely children. There's, there's a third party influence here. And what you're doing is prioritising. And for some of you, you're walking away from a situation, a conflictual situation, because, you know, for the child's sake. You know, it's been very confusing, but you're making your choice now. You're on the move. Some people you will leave in the cold. Uh, you will make practical changes to your lifestyle. You know, and I could say you're mature enough areas to realise that these changes are necessary if you are to move on and grow as a person. It's a bit short and sweet today, and to the point, but it's it's kind of, yeah. You're certainly making a decision here to leave a, a situation that you consider too restrictive, and it's too painful. And I feel this there's a person here who's hurt you one too many times. I'm going to leave it there. As I say, short and sweet, 7 minutes, 7 minutes 17. I will see you next time. Thank you very much.